In this video, I want to describe for you how you get uh, the vector equation of a plane. Now, a plane, when we're talking about uh, three-dimensional space and vectors, is effectively like this great big flat uh, surface, okay? Completely flat surface in three dimensions. It's kind of like um, you could think of it as a floor, okay? Or it could be like a, a bit of paper, so a nice flat bit of paper. You can tilt it at any angle you like, but it shoots off in all directions, okay? It's not limited to just these sides. These aren't boundaries, okay? So this is, I can't really draw it any other way. But this is kind of like a flat surface. There is no kind of end edge on any of these, okay? It just shoots off in all directions. So you can think of it like a floor that just continues on forever and ever and ever in all directions. And there are two ways of finding the equation of a plane. There is the vector equation way and the Cartesian equation way. And I'm going to show you how to do the vector equation way first. So effectively, remember that when we're working with the equation of a line, then what we have is a position vector. Okay, So it tells us, firstly, how to get from the origin to a point on the line. So if that's your line, here's the origin. So it tells us how to get from the origin to the line. And then it tells us in which direction to point. Okay, So it tells us to go in this direction. And the lambda that you have tells you how far along the line you need to get. So the equation of a line um, in three dimensions is effectively an instruction about how to get from the origin to any point on that line. And in much the same way, the vector equation of a plane is an instruction that gets you from the origin, so let's say the origin's there, to any point that is on the plane. So let's draw ourselves a line. So here's the point P, for example. So the R equals that we have tells us how to get to that point, any point that is on the line, or any point on the plane, rather. Now, how are we going to do this? Well, what we can do is we, first of all, are going to need to know at least one point that is on the plane. Okay, so we're going to need to be transported firstly to the plane. So let's say that that is the point A. So there's the point A, and this is the vector A. Okay, so that's the position vector of A. That gets us onto the plane. I then need to go a certain amount of uh, in one direction and then a certain amount in another direction in order to get to P. Because it would be perfectly, it would be lovely if I knew a vector that would get me straight from A to P. But because P has to be any point that's on the plane, uh, I can't do it with just one vector. I actually need two vectors. Two vectors that are not parallel to one another. Now, it doesn't matter which two vectors these are, just so long as they are both on the plane. Okay? So, as long as they are parallel to the plane, all I need to know is a certain amount going in C and a certain amount going in B, and then I can get to that point P, no matter where it is. So, that means that R... I can get to any point on the plane by travelling along A. That gets me onto the plane. And then I need to go a certain amount of B and then a certain amount of C 
and that will get me anywhere that I need to go. Okay? And that is the vector equation of a plane. It's very similar to the equation of a line and works in much the same way. Okay? But we're going to see an example of how we can get to that equation of a plane uh, in the next video.